All right, aloha everyone. Today is December the 1st, 2017, and this is Nexus Partners Core Team Community Call. We welcome everybody here today. We've got some great stuff, as always, to um, go over and talk about. Um, I'm Kelly B. I'm in North Carolina, or on North Carolina, and uh, my crypto partner is Kelly Ann. How you doing this morning, Kelly Ann, over in New Mexico? Oh, it's been a beautiful, peaceful morning up here in the mountains, of course, as always. I bet so. I bet you're feeling in the, the fall weather, and it's beautiful. It sure is. <laughs> and she has a little stream behind her house. So, yeah, no, river. <laughs> a river, a river. And we've got Michael Bailey with us this morning. How are you doing out in Sacramento, Michael? Oh, you can hear me. Good morning. Yes, good morning. It's still Good dark. Morning. It's still dark over there. Maybe, maybe the light's coming out. Yeah, it's the, the sun's starting to rise. Yeah. All right, great. <laughs> and we've got Dan from Green Bay with us. How you doing, Dan? Oh, very good. Very good. Sun's up and rise uh, for over an hour here now, so we're doing good. All right, Dan's our international marketing director, and we've got Gary with us this morning, who's our in charge of customer service. How you doing, Gary? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's like Kelly peace okay that's right. That's right. so we just have to start learning this new language that's all oh crypto language that's right yep it's just yes the answer is yes I gotcha all right and we've got Bill Richardson with us our uh, he's in charge of operations how you doing Bill absolutely oh no that was good <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, doing great I'm doing great I'm kind of kind of uh, like my head cold still, but I'm I'm getting there, but I'm doing fine. Fantastic. Well, lots of remedies out there for those head colds. All right, mm -hmm. and we've got our founder and visionary with us this morning, of course, Bob. How you doing? Doing fantastic. Been another exciting week, and we've got some new stuff to share with everyone today. Awesome. Well, we've got a lot of people that are getting real excited and have joined the company and are getting um, qualified and getting CCS. So uh, does anybody have anybody they'd like to recognize today that's taking the courses and have been CCS or qualified? If you are um, attendee here and you would like to recognize somebody on your team, please raise your hand or um, type it in the question box and we can um, recognize those people. Gary, do we have anybody to recognize that's emailed in? No, I have not seen anyone email um, anything in. No. Okay, I do know on November the 17th that uh, Marlene Lamont from Atlanta completed. She got fully qualified. I have spent uh, several, several hours on the phone with Marlene. She uh, is an incredible woman, very smart, uh, ready to put 40 hours a week into um, laying out Atlanta and bringing out Atlanta, and she's going to be she's a great asset to the team and um, very um, thorough in her learning, wants to just learn everything. So I um, have had a, a fun time um, getting to know Marlene. And I know, um, Dan, you've probably got some people you would like to recognize. Yes, thank you, Kelly. We do actually in Green Bay. We're we're uh, we're during. We talked about doing phase one. We're just going to be getting everybody tested. So we've got five people that are already qualified. We got Dr. Rick Vanderheiden, Colby Carter, Tim Blank, John Sinclair, Brian Vander. Fantastic. That's awesome. And I know that um, they're definitely learning, and you're getting some good testimonies back on that. Um, all right. Does anybody else have anybody they'd like to recognize? Um, could I, Dan, could you either send me a list of those people so I can include them in the notes? You went over those a little quickly. Sure. Yeah, I'd be happy to get you the updates of, of um, all five that qualified and then about another four or five that are almost there. So, uh, Dan, you need to also send me their um, the zip codes that they're going to be working and their uh, FTE so I can get the, their, the system updated. Awesome. Okay, zip codes and... Yeah. Okay. There's a form, Dan, that when when somebody joins and they fulfill this, they need to submit a email to the sales at nexusuniversity.com with the information requested. The zip code, how many hours they're willing to offer and so on. So uh, everyone. Okay. 
That's uh, sales at nexusrewards.com. Yep, got it. Sales at nexusrewards.com. Each person needs to submit their name, their ID, and the number of FTEs that they're going to um, be committing to weekly, number of hours they're going to commit to weekly, and the um, zip codes they're going to be working. So when that when we when we update the system, the uh, their their back office will show them qualified, and the uh, merchant button will appear there. That means they can then start registering merchants. Until we update that, they don't have access to that feature. <coughs> All right, great information. Well, we've got um, we have affiliates you know, all over the planet, right? And um, we have a guy in Nigeria, his name is Lucky. And Bob, I'd like you to, um, he's been very excited. He's, uh, they're over there. Uh, if you'll talk about the Hands Up program a little bit and, and give his testimony. He's reached out to us and shared some amazing stuff he's done and he gives all the thanks to Nexus. So will you share that, Bob? Yeah, I think this is great. I ran a, uh, saw that come in here recently that uh, he writes, quote, through the knowledge I acquired from Nexus, I gave a lecture today on Nigeria digital currency ecosystem to the Central Bank of Nigeria, where the deputy governor of Central Bank was present, and so many audience were thrilled how I knew uh, so much about this space in cryptocurrency. And I give credit to Nexus University that gave me a chance to learn. BitcoinAfrica.io is all talking about the lecture I delivered today. Signed, Lucky. <laughs> so um, amazing testimonial. Yeah, he's fantastic, and he is so super <laughs> excited. And that was a big conference. I mean, he was invited to to um, talk at that, and there were people from other um, companies, and and it was uh, scrolling all through LinkedIn. So that was a big conference that he actually was at. So um, it was a big deal, and um, so um, Nexus is getting some recognition over there as well. Um, also, um, Bob, Andreas, as always, uh, he's got to, the first Nexus conference that we have, Andreas has to be our keynote speaker. <laughs> That'd be fantastic. I, I'd love to have, I'd love to have Andreas as a, uh, as a, uh, kind of a celebrity spokesperson for Nexus. Once we, uh, once we really get rolling and gain some credibility, we want, uh, Andreas on our, in our camp. Well, um, you're, uh, yeah, he's put out several um, videos. He's talking our language all the time. Uh, the one he I shared this morning, the heading of it or the title of it is Investing in Education Instead of Speculation. That's 37 minutes. Um, you can find it on YouTube, God. But um, also, Bob, he um, did one, How Bitcoin is Changing the World. Do you want to talk on that one a little bit? Yeah, I thought that was a great one. He that I, I just saw this week. Um, his videos are always great. This one was was especially a great video. It's about twenty five minutes long, uh, but in there he talks about you know the, that uh, you know cryptocurrency isn't the only use for or uh, money isn't the only use for cryptocurrency, and he started listing some other great uses for cryptocurrency. And the very first one he listed was loyalty points. So I thought that was quite interesting. You know, like you said, he's always talking you know about uh, what we're doing, you know, because the principles are true, the cream rises to the top, and I think there's a convergence. Let's call it a, a nexus with uh, Nexus and and uh, Andreas. Well, and he's, I think he's listening to you, though, Bob. He uses some of the same language you do. <laughs> He'll say this Funny. is not a get quick scheme, <laughs> you know, this is a get rich slow. And I'm like, he's listening <laughs> to Bob. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll, we're going to contact Andreas again. I've, I've spoke with him already once, uh, but he's not far from us. He's here in uh, Silicon Valley. So uh, I'm going to reach out to him at the right time. Fantastic. All right. Now, uh, a very important part of what we have here is, of course, our Nexus token. And um, it's very important that people know about my Ether wallet. If, you know, um, a lot of people are positioned in my Ether wallet as where they're storing their Nexus token. So let's just uh, talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I uh, recently when I went to my Ether wallet, I noticed that they added something new. When you go in there, they now walk you through uh, some pop-ups. It's a pop-up tutorial slash warning that they have on there, and it's, gosh, I don't know how, how many pages it was. It seemed like it was like 10 or 12 pages long, uh, <clears throat> but it, um, it, it provided some education about the wallet, about how you need to be responsible for it. It provided some, uh, one of the pages was on you know, how to prevent uh, phishing, how to use, you know, Ledger Wallet. He said if you have more than 
what do you say, a weekly, more than your weekly salary, you know, in uh, in your cryptocurrency that you should have it on a hardware wallet to protect yourself. Uh, but I thought it was a great addition to my Ether wallet, probably because my Ether wallet is so popular that it's been being attacked by by hackers. Uh, I thought it was interesting too. Even had a page on scams, which was separate from. There you go. You're seeing on the screen here some of the pop-ups. He walks you right through, uh, right through some of the tutorials. One of them was was a whole page just on scams in general. He said, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably it probably is not true. Uh, and he walks you through some of the scams to be aware of. And that that was more just general information, separate from how you know using my Ether wallet. Uh, but I thought that was uh, kind of cool that they went through and put that up there. The the owner's name, uh, the founder's name, I've been interfacing with. His name is Taylor, and uh, Taylor helped uh, me update my Ether wallet with the new Nexus coin. When you go in there, if you look at if you if you uh, once you load the token, it, you open up your wallet, then you load the tokens. Uh, matter of fact, I'll wait for Kelly to get through this because we'll show you. But the uh, the old Nexus token is designated as such in my ether wallet and the new nexus token is now showing in there you'll all show zero as soon as kelly clicks off that go ahead and open up a wallet kelly we won't peek One of the things they do when that when it's educating you, it says double check the URL line at the top to make sure it always says my Ether Wallet LLC paren US close paren, and that you're going to myetherwallet.com. That's the that's the genuine my Ether Wallet site. The, the phishing sites will create a uh, a fake website. It looks like the site but has a different URL, so they tell you to check that. I know too we've talked about the Chrome extension and I just want to note that when I was reading the instructions for the Chrome extension it said if you um, disable this extension and reload it you could possibly run into issues so um, keep that in mind guys too as well but as their instructions are you're best to have everything on a hardware wallet um, so and I know that Ledger just had a great sell on there, so um, I don't know how far out there are, they are anymore. They were two months out. I haven't checked lately. We'll give Kelly a minute to get her wallet up. Uh, let me mention also all these all of these precautions that we're hearing about is fluid. The market, as we all know, is growing. And, uh, uh, you know, there are attackers out there trying to find a way to get rich quick through this. So this information that we're sharing with everybody is, it's, it's not hard. It's just that we have to be educated to take control of our money. That's the basis of what we're doing. So uh, I know some people have shown some skepticism. It's too complicated. It, it's not. It's just a matter of learning uh, new procedures and new ways of protecting ourselves. I kind of chuckled, Gary, when uh, I was reading their little tutorial on there. And in one section, they said, um, "We do not manage an account for you. We cannot reset your passwords. We cannot, you know, recall transactions that are sent. We cannot get your coins back." And I was kind of chuckling, thinking, "Gosh, they have some of the same people calling their supporters or calling our support for the same qu same questions." <laughs> <laughs> well, and it's happening on a lot. I signed up for Bit Stamp yesterday. Same thing. You're responsible for your passphrase. If you lose this passphrase, I mean, it's just spelling it out. So incredible. All right, there you go. Good, good, good. Uh, click on load tokens, Kelly. That orange button there. This goes through and loads all your balances for the default tokens. All the tokens that Mike Wallet knows about. You can add your own custom token that Mike Wallet doesn't know about, but they have a list of ones. They have a list of ones. It should be loading here shortly. They have a list of ones. They call the default tokens. There we go. They're to load them up. Now scroll down, if you will, down to the ends, and we will see two Nexus tokens. Come on, baby. Where are you? 
Oh, now click show tokens. There we go. Now scroll down. <clears throat> There you go. Right there near the top, you see um, she's got uh, some tokens there that NXX underscore old. That was the old token that everyone's holding now. So everyone, when you go in there, you now will see whatever your current balance is under Nexus old. And then right above it just is NXX. That's the new token. So you now will start seeing, and it will be a slow process. We're vetting all this. Uh, but as we distribute the new token to you, you get the same number you have here, plus the interest for November and December uh, will pop up under NXX. Uh, so you'll have two entries here. The old is useless. You can't use it for anything. Uh, it's just still sitting in there. It's sitting in on the Ethereum blockchain under the contract. Um, that's the Nexus old. In etherscan.io, I'm still working with the developers over there to get them also to rename <coughs> uh, that old contract to Nexus old. Um, so it's not confusing in EtherScan. Uh, but there you go, Nexus, now the new Nexus token is listed as a default token in my Ether wallet. And as we, can, as we vet uh, everyone uh, and send you new tokens, it'll show up on, in my Ether wallet as NXX. All right, fantastic. So I'm glad we have that update. Whew. We're usually really busy in the Telegram room. <laughs> So anyway, you know, right. Kelly, I thought it might be good. We had a good conversation yesterday. I thought it might be good to share some of that information, and I don't mind reading through some of the information that we put in uh, in the Telegram room. Absolutely, absolutely. We shared some of it on, on Kelly and Kelly yesterday. It's out there on um, um, our show as well, but definitely because it's very important to talk about that. So yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I, I rarely do this, but I saw some of the conversation going on in Telegram, so I jumped in the conversation. Um, and I posted several times, and I'll read through some of those. First, I said, um, too many people do not understand Nexus and are hurting the Nexus token on the public exchange. We did what we feel is the right thing to help with the GCR debt. That gift has been mostly unappreciated by people dumping their coins at a fraction of their potential value. I don't see any of these people helping to launch Nexus Rewards. They must not understand that every Nexus merchant transaction drives the price of the Nexus token up. We must do whatever is necessary to protect the Nexus token as we launch Nexus Rewards to create real value, utility, and buyer demand. Everyone will get all their Nexus tokens. I guess the, the, I should preface this with what the conversation was about, but we had uh, a, a bunch of people in here just asking, you know, where's my Nexus tokens? How, could, how can I get them? And, uh, it's almost like they were implying, you know, how quick can I sell them? Um, and I went on to state, uh, the Nexus token is one of the few real utility coins like Ether. It is the internal currency with automated buyer demand. And it has the potential to rise in price like Ether, not by hype like all the pump and dump coins, but by real utility. And the last thing I stated, which I think is what you quoted in your... Uh, in your show yesterday, Kelly, is too many people think exchanges, ICOs, and crowdfunding create value. They might create a short-term price spike, but it will crash quickly from the dumpers. Real, sustainable, long-term price increases only come from delivering value with real utility. Merchants receive value by getting and keeping new customers, while every transaction drives buyer demand and price increases. Uh, and I think the last thing I posted was uh, Nexus Rewards is launching now. Not as quickly as we would have liked due to the many business challenges, but we have never given up. When people start seeing Nexus transactions increasing the price of the Nexus token, then maybe they will understand the power of automated buyer demand. I think that was it, Kelly. There you go. Thank you so much. It's like we talk about a lot. It's very important to to be in this community and learn this kind of information. Uh, to be out there floundering in a big sea of blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies, um, that's a lot. It's such a blessing. It's such a gift to be right here to learn this stuff and know uh, what to look for. 
um, and and have this education. It's priceless. Um, Kelly's going to throw some bitcoins on that probably, or probably some Nexus tokens on that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, definitely, this is incredible. So thank you for that. And um, we have so many tools. This is an Everything's energy, guys. We talk about energy a lot, and you know, you and Ke you guys might think Kelly and I are woo-woos, but uh, everything's energy. We and take this, take what you have, and and don't get in the way of it, and let it flow. Um, we have three new videos that are all, all you got to do is put it in front of an organization, organizations and merchants, and just watch their eyes light up. Let's talk about those three bit videos that we have now in our lead pages, Bob. Yeah, these are great videos for uh, starting, you know, preparing for launching um, uh, Nexus Rewards in your local community, you know, as you go through the three-phase uh, startup. You mentioned something, Kelly, I wanted to touch on. Um, uh, one of our affiliates, uh, Kenny Martin, uh, was kind enough to contact me a uh, week before last, and he said, Bob, there's a, there's a seminar you've got to go to. He said, I've already made arrangements. I've already got your reservation. You just need to show up. So I said, sure, I'll do that. And it was a seminar in Dallas. Um, and it was, um, it was a seminar basically on the law of attraction. And it really, what made me think about it is, Kenny, uh, is uh, Kelly's thoughts on uh, energy. Um, uh, the law of attraction is that basically, you know, what you put out, you know, the energy you put out is what you get back. Uh, and so I really enjoyed that. It was about a four-hour session uh, I went to, and I took a lot of notes on it. Um, but one of the key things that, the, that it just struck me was um, don't be focusing on your local problem. Focus on where you're going to be when the solution, you know, hits you. So your your focus needs to be out in, into the future about what's what's your life going to be like with the solution. Don't be focused, you know, if it's a financial issue, don't be focusing on, oh, I, you know, I wish I had this money. I don't have this money, but, you know, it's, it's, it's focus on, you know, what the benefit is you're going to be, you're going to be getting because of that money that you have and be focusing out there. Um, that hit me also because um, I think I mentioned this, uh, maybe I didn't mention this on another call, but, um, uh, you know, as we're talking to people about Nexus, uh, we we shouldn't be talking, you know, about the um, the income opportunity, the money you can make in cryptocurrency. Uh, the vision is far out further than that. Uh, the vision is about how cryptocurrency is going to change the world. It isn't about what the people are uh, always short sighted, and they're they're get, we're getting a lot of attention from people on, you know, the price of Bitcoin skyrocketing, you know, over eleven thousand dollars now. Um, so people are getting, you know, attracted to it, but it's all because of the money. That's very short-sighted. Um, most people, at least until they come to Nexus University, don't realize that the real uh, power potential, power potential of cryptocurrency, is in the mission. It's in its potential to change the world and make it a better place. So as we're talking to um, uh, leaders and people getting involved with Nexus, um, it, it may not be you know, to our best benefit, you know, to talk to them about, you know, the income opportunity, you know, the money there. Of course, people talked worked about money, but the first thing should be their opportunity to get involved in something that's bigger than they are, something that is going to change the world in a positive way, something that's going to empower people to take back control. That's the mission. That's the cause. And um, most good people want to be involved in a cause. Um, and, of course, there has to be a revenue model with that cause, but that's not their initial focus. Their initial focus is the cause. The money just comes secondarily. Um, anyway, just something I thought I'd share that came out, came to my mind as you were talking, Kelly, um, with a seminar that I attended, and, and thanks out to uh, Kenny Martin for thinking about me and, and how that could help Nexus, um, you know, the whole company of Nexus as a whole. Yeah, let me just comment on that real quick, Bob, before you Please. move on. Um, Please. Uh, it is very important to understand energy, and even um, with that power, uh, it's mindset. Um, 
because what you think, your thoughts just as well as your actions, when they go out, it's imprinted on the universe. And um, you can't ever take those back. So if you see people walking around saying, I don't have the money, they're going to continue to not have the money. It's your mindset. I, I'll, I'm abundance. I'm in, uh, abundance, all that's good. And when you have that mindset and you start thinking like that, you actually start seeing things totally change. And, uh, and also, as Bob, I just want to say it again, uh, we need to not focus on the money. When you stop focusing on the money and you start focusing on the movement, then it just lets everything flow. Um, it, we never should get in the way of letting energy and going with our gut and our, in, in our, in our intuition, our, our higher self is really what it is. Um, we we uh, too much second guess everything. Um, how many times have you had something pop into your intuition? Uh, you know, maybe you should have put your keys somewhere else and you just blew it off and didn't. I mean, s small stuff like this. And then something happens to your keys and you're like, if I'd have only moved them when I told myself to move them. So it's little things like that and I know you all can recognize what I'm talking about but that is really energy and that's the flow of everything and when you get on the right thought process and the right um, doing process then things start flowing for you and and seeing your life already in existing of what you're dreaming and what you're wanting um, living like you're already there there was one time um, this guy had um, a short story um, he wanted to go into abundance. So every time he bought something, he would never take the change back. And he was had, you know, very little funds at the time. And through that whole process, he started becoming more uh, more wealthy, um, just not needing that change, you know, not needing that 58 cent or that two cent or whatever it is. So um, that was a great story, and I won't go all into it. But, yeah, absolutely glad you enjoyed that, Bob. So um, let's move on. <laughs> yeah, you know, and you know, it's funny, Kim. Kelly is this isn't some wacky new age thing at all uh, I remember over 40 years ago as I was um, just getting involved in personal development and and just studying and reading everything I could listening to tapes audio cassette tapes if any of you remember what those are uh, about this kind of thing all the big motivational speakers back then were talking about this we didn't call it energy you know, they called it PMA positive mental attitude um, uh, and there were so many great books written about it. One that comes to mind, I think, was called uh, As a Man Thinketh. Uh, but it was all about uh, your mental attitude. Um, and those things that you think about, those things that you envision, is where your energy is really going. Again, we didn't call it energy back then. We just called it positive mental attitude. But uh, this, uh, you know, these are principles, these are true principles that have been being taught for decades. Uh, again, when I was a young man, I was learning about it from all the great motivational speakers. So uh, thank you for bringing that up, Kelly. I just, I want to kind of add to that. I just want to say, you know, you're right on because there's a saying, energy flows where attention goes. So if, you know, as an example, you cannot visualize yourself not smoking. So you can't visualize a negative. So if you're not smoking, what are you doing? It, it's the same thing, you know. I don't want to be poor anymore. Well, how do I visualize myself not being poor? You have to visualize the solution, not the problem. I mean, you, that's what you were talking about. Yeah, this, this is something that I'm very, very, very heavily into is this personal development and energy and stuff like this. And this is exactly how it works. Um, intention is everything. When you set the intent, you're basically setting an imprint in the – literally in the ethers that are going to attract to you like energies. And that's basically what the law of attraction is all about. So, yeah, thank you. Good, good, no, that thank was, you. That was great. And I also want to say, too, living up here in the mountains, it's just impossible for me not to do this. But it's, it's from within. So you can actually direct your body, and you are the commander of your ship. So once you wake up <laughs> in the morning and you realize, what is going on because it just makes sense um, because it's just happening. It's not anything new agey at all because I'm not a new ager, but I can say I know just from experience that there's so much more that, you, that we, all of us even know about that. It's crazy because you can actually direct your body and you can say it out loud or you can even think it, but it's more powerful when you say it out loud, but it's happening within. So you actually are the director and commander of all your organs and all of your spells and free radicals and everything else. So believe it or not, you can actually tell your body what to do.
Good Let point. me add to that. In Green Bay, Wisconsin, we've got 80 students earning scholarships for college, and this is how and why I now have 15 students excited about getting qualified to do Nexus because in my program, they only have one assignment. It's called Dream Maps, and, and they have to make a dream board. I tell them it's not my goal to push or pull you. It's just to support whatever your vision is. And so they have to make a dream board, break it into seven, break it up into seven areas. So they have to have images that represent spiritual, mental, family, financial, social, career, and physical. And then I tell them, now that I understand your vision of what you want and where you want to go, that's what I'm here to support. And so that's how I uh, have now 15 students who said they'd like to work on the financial spoke of the wheel and are getting excited to be involved in Nexus with us. So I'm glad to hear that you also have the same philosophies, Kelly. Fantastic. All right. Yeah, great okay. points. I think uh, I think every great sponsor of Nexus, when they're uh, coaching their uh, their team, should have them build a dream board. I do too. I love that. I built one back years ago when I first uh, got into network marketing, and um, I'm ready to do one again. So that uh, that's a great. I think we should all bring that in, Dan. I love that idea. All right. Um, well, Kelly, we started this conversation a long time ago talking about the the new tools. <laughs> so let me touch on those. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, you know, about an about an hour ago, it seems like. Um, we we've talked about these. We've talked about the videos, but uh, um, it's been two weeks since we had this call last. We skipped last week for Thanksgiving, uh, but in your back office under your lead pages, uh, you'll see three new videos, and these are all Nexus Reward videos. Uh, the first one is targeted at nonprofit organizations. It's about a minute and 44 seconds long. It's called Pastor John. It's the fourth one in your list you see there. It says Nexus Rewards, uh, Pastor John. <clears throat> that is a great one to share. Uh, the, these are lead pages. They're designed in just um, a few minutes to get people's interest. We call these tools people sorters. You don't really need to try to uh, sell or convert anybody. You just sort through people and find out who steps up and says, that's interesting, I like no more. That's what these lead page tools are for. So your first one, I would I would want to get this video, Nexus Rewards, Pastor John, in front of every nonprofit organization in my community. Find out who steps up and says, that's interesting, I like no more. Now those become candidates for the Nexus Reward nonprofit organizations that want to have a perpetual cash fundraiser. And now you can show them that. So that's what these tools are for. So your first one, Pastor John. The next one is called Danny's Diner. <clears throat> that is also a Nexus Rewards lead capture page. Uh, and it is four minutes and 40 seconds long. It may be a little long. So we created a second version of that exact same video. And it's a short version. It's only two minutes and 25 seconds long. You can decide which one you want to use. If I'm going in probably just cold, sending someone the very first time, I might want to just give them the short one. If it's someone I maybe talk a little bit about already, I got them warmed up a bit, I might show them, you know, the long one. If you show them the short one and they express interest, I would definitely follow it up with uh, the long one and say, well, let me give you, uh, let me give you another version of that video you saw that has even more information on how you can benefit from Nexus Rewards. But there's three great tools for you there. They're lead capture pages. That will be, uh, and as you all know, the lead capture pages are personalized to you. They have a lead capture form on them. They can they can fill out if they're interested. You get real time notification when they respond on that. When you you can share it with uh, people, enter their name, their email address. It'll send them an email as soon as with a link in it. As soon as they click on the link in the email, it'll send you a text message that says. Uh, um, so and so just started watching your Nexus Rewards Pastor John uh, uh, video. Uh, you'll get real-time notifications on it. So great tools in your back office. I kind of take it for granted, you know, all the tools I have, but I was just talking to one of our leaders yesterday just saying uh, how much he appreciated our back office and all the tools in there. They say rarely do you see a back office, even with the more, most mature network marketing companies, that is so comprehensive and robust as the tools that we provide. And we provide these all for free. Uh, we own all the technology. Uh, and we want to empower our partners, our affiliates, to be successful. Uh, our goal in Nexus is not to try to make money off the backs of our salespeople. Unfortunately, that's what a lot of network marketing companies do is the majority of their revenue, usually almost all their revenue, comes from the salespeople buying their own products. Uh, Nexus Rewards is different. Nexus Rewards, zero 
100% comes from our sales force. 100% comes from merchant marketing fees. In Nexus, this is Nexus Rewards I'm talking about. Um, so we provide all these tools to make it easy uh, for people, hopefully for our affiliates to be successful, because they are our partners. You are our partners. Uh, so new tools, Kelly, uh, to get Nexus uh, launched. We were talking earlier about, uh, before the call, we were talking to John about Green Bay, what's going on up there, and they've got all these people all trained, and I mentioned to Dan, and now's it while they're getting trained now's a good time to start warming up the market for the nonprofit organizations so what Green Bay can start doing is as they're getting all their people qualified you do the do all the training and get certified pass all the tests start sharing the pastor John lead page uh, I'd, I'd make a list I'd contact every uh, nonprofit organization um, Kelly B uh, was telling me this morning that she found a website that lists all the charities by zip code I guess across the nation, Kelly? Yeah, I've actually put it in here for everybody under the chat. It's greatnonprofits.org, greatnonprofits.org, and you can choose your city, your state, and you can also choose what type of organization, if you're passionate about animals or the homeless or law or children, there, there's all diff different um, ones, but you can go in there and select these charities and set them up by zip code. So when you're launching these zip codes, you've got a whole list of organizations that you and your team can um, talk with. So it's a great site. Yeah, I'd make, con I'd make contact with every organization in your community. Um, I, it's always good to make contact first. Don't just send them a blind email uh, because they'll just get ignored. Uh, most of the time it's just getting ignored. I get tons of junk mail every day and I'm just hitting the delete button on most of it. Uh, so it's it's important where you can to make some contact with them. They usually want your public involvement so they usually have contact information I'm guessing. Uh, but I make contact with the decision maker of the, of the organization and let them know that hey I want to send you I want to send you a link to something I think you might be interested in that could create a, a perpetual fundraising uh, um, program for you. Uh, it doesn't require any sales or buying on your part. And then send them, uh, sh do the share the link to the Nexus Rewards Pastor John um, uh, with them, and then follow up with them. Uh, you're going to get you're going to get a notification when they start watching it. Um, uh, but then follow up with them. But get that video, that lead page, Nexus Rewards Pastor John, in front of every nonprofit organization in your community. And I know Dan's going to be doing that in Green Bay. Absolutely. You know, before you take off there, I just want to mention real quickly, those three lead pages, I'm in the process of recording a Spanish audio track. So if you have any like Spanish merchants, like Mexican restaurants, you know, there's all kinds of uh, Latino merchants. So if they don't speak English, these are in the works. And also, uh, the yeah, Bob, there's a couple other things on here, the Nexus Partners uh, key information and the business concepts. Those are now done in Spanish, and those are also in the back office, uh, in good. the Spanish back office. So good, good. Yeah, we just. But if you have any, mer there's a lot of merchants I know that that because I always get con calls that people say, well, I don't speak English, and I, I how do I? They don't, don't you have anything available? So I hear that a lot. But I just want to let you know that that's that's available. Thanks. Good. Good. Matter of fact, Kelly, we're going to uh, close out our meeting today reviewing two new documents that came out since our last call, aren't we? Yes, and they are absolutely awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The first one, um, I just refer to this as key information. This is the Nexus Partners key information. What I wanted to do is, uh, what I found out, and, and I found, uh, you know, as we're talking to various people, you know, big leaders, we have so much information it's one of our downfalls is it's kind of hard for people to wrap their head around um, everything Nexus is doing so I wanted to create a one-page reference sheet of the key information about Nexus uh, so that's the document you see on your screen there and there are eight points here and I'll just read through these and we can comment as we go through it uh, the first key point is that um, this is a worldwide movement this is let me bring up here uh, I'm going to look at my version so I can read a little bit better. Uh, Nexus is providing an opportunity to be involved in the next big technology wave and revolution that will change human culture and create new trillion-dollar industries. 
This is a huge movement that encompasses the whole world and is much bigger than any of us. It is an opportunity to be part of a worthy cause, to have a positive impact on the world, to make it a better place. So that is, I was talking earlier about, you know, um, lead with the movement. Lead with the positive cause, the worthy cause. Lead with the purpose. That will attract good people. There's plenty of, there's plenty of um, you know, money games out there. And, um, you know, a lot of those money games, you know, attract, I hate to use the word, you know, base people, but it will attract a lot of people who are only focused on money. Um, you know, it's, uh, you know, money's not a bad thing. Uh, you know, it's just, uh, as I say, some people like, some people mistakenly say money's the root of all evil. It's, it's not money's not the root of all evil. It's the love of money is the root of all evil. So we don't focus on the money here. The money comes naturally, but if you focus on this first key point, that this is a worldwide movement that they're being involved in. Uh, the next point is empower the people. Nexus has a mission to empower people to take back control of their money and their financial systems. This noble cause also comes with a very lucrative income opportunity, but only as a side effect of delivering real value to the marketplace on the front edge of the exciting cryptocurrency movement. Again, kind of tied to the movement of empowering people to take back control. So the first two points are really more about the, the, the movement and the cause. And then we get into the business. Third point is that we have a sustainable business model. Nexus has built a sustainable business model on top of the innovative cryptocurrency technology. Nexus is a services company for the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency industry. Nexus success is based on the inevitable mainstream adoption of cryptocurrency and not on the success of any specific cryptocurrency coin. So a very, very uh, important distinction here from all the other crypto opportunities that are out there. Um, we provide cryptocurrency services, point number four, yes. Uh, Nexus has developed systems for the public to learn about the power, potential, and virtues of cryptocurrency and for the public to benefit from using cryptocurrency. Nexus sells the picks and shovels to support the cryptocurrency industry. Okay, the next point, three points talk about Nexus rewards. Um, attract new customers. In addition to the Nexus University for cryptocurrency education, Nexus has developed a production ready marketing system called Nexus Rewards that helps merchants acquire and keep new customers and to accept payments in Bitcoin and other popular cryptocurrencies. <laughs> then we talk about shared shopper rewards. Nexus Rewards is a shared rewards program where shoppers can collect and redeem reward points from multiple merchants. A viral incentive provides free reward points for referring their friends and family for dynamic growth of the shopper and merchant network. Then we talk about the nonprofit organization aspect of Nexus Rewards, local charity support. Nexus Rewards also benefits local nonprofit organizations with a perpetual cash fundraising program by referring shoppers that keep shopping week after week and month after ma month after month. And the final point on this one-page reference sheet is affiliate opportunity. Trained and certified direct sales affiliates have an opportunity to earn tens of thousands of dollars monthly from building the Nexus Shopper and Merchant Network in hometown communities worldwide. Affiliates earn weekly bonuses all based on shoppers that keep shopping. For every networker, who, who has built an organization and has experienced the attrition of the direct sales industry will love this last point. This, uh, this opportunity is not based on um, hoping that your downline will maintain their auto ships of products. It is based on shoppers that keep shopping. Very, very key distinction as you're talking to any leader who, again, has experienced building a sizable check and then seeing that bonus check dwindle from the attrition in the industry, from people just canceling the auto ships because they, they were hoping to someday, you know, earn enough money, you know, to cover their auto ship. Unfortunately, uh, in the industry, most don't, um, and they just fall off. We don't have that problem here because our revenue and Nexus Rewards does not come from the sales force. 
It comes from the merchant fees, which comes from shoppers that keep shopping. So Kelly, I don't know if you want to add anything, but this is a one-page reference to the key information about Nexus. It's a girl's dream, Bob. <laughs> when can I go? I can go shop and I can increase my value. No, we were we laughed about this all week um, because it's just a girl's dream. But I will mention these numbers here. Eighty percent of the women that make a six-figure income do in network marketing, and eighty percent of the um, people in network marketing, direct sales, or I'll say in uh, network marketing, are women. So this is a great industry. We have a great company to and attract men as well. We definitely want men as well but um, it's just beautiful we're, we're positioned here in the shopping arena uh, per se and not so much in the technology as we haven't mentioned this in a while you had a little um, thing that you talked about um, a little one liner that you we said gosh it's been six months or so we've talked about it but how we're taking this uh, we're taking blockchain technology from the technology world to Main Street adoption through shoppers that keep shopping I'll, uh, let me let me inject it. Thanks, Kelly, for letting us uh, male species join in this. <laughs> You're <movement>. welcome. <laughs> so nice hey, uh, but I was just in the background. I've had the news on, and they were just talking on the financial news about Bitcoin being a bubble or not, and they were talking, listen, if you're, I'm going to paraphrase the guy said, if you go into a store to buy a cup of coffee, you're not going to use your Bitcoin because the fees are too high. Now, I lay not, is it not getting out there that we've got, a, that they're crying for our our, our program? I mean, it's, it's, every day I'm hearing something similar. It's just crying for what we got. Yep. I agree. All right. This is a great, um, but going back here to this document, um, I'm interviewing a lot of people, and um, through my Indeed campaign, I got the great Marlene Lamont from um, Indeed, my prospect there, and she is uh, the one I mentioned at the earlier qualified. But um, I send out this document. I love this document. It explains it. Um, I believe that when we talk too much, it, it becomes brain overload. So a document like Bob has put together here explains the key points, and then it gives us somebody the opportunity to go dig deeper into the website into the white paper and to look deeper into that particular thing that might jump out because we're all different. Some are going to be interested in this and some are going to be interested in that. There's all different things that are going to stand out. Um, some will like the, you know, the um, Nexus Reserves and other uh, rewards and some will like the university and then some will like everything. But that, that document is a great document for you to print and have available to hand out to people. Yeah, I think it's a great reference sheet. It's a great 30,000-foot view of Nexus. And then drill down. Again, we have so much information. Um, you know, it's like we're feeding them with a fire hose, and it's just too overwhelming. So, uh, again, I, I almost relate it to uh, you know, studying the scriptures. You know, it's, there's so much there, you can't take it all in at once. You just got to take a little bit at a time. Um, and then you slowly over time learn more and more and more. You know, I hear from people that have been with us for quite a while, always learning new things that we're doing with Nexus, saying, oh, I didn't realize that you guys did that. I didn't realize that you also had a bartering system. You know, there's so much there, it can be overwhelming. So be, be conscious of that. With a new person, you could really uh, cause more confusion if you try to dump everything on them at once. Absolutely. And by the way, Gary, send those uh, fake news talking heads a copy of that document. <laughs> no, I want to, I just want them to one day open their eyes and see that we've got, uh, Green Bay is actually using uh, Nexus program to bring cryptocurrency to the Main Street market or Atlanta or, or Char Charlotte or Dallas, Fort Worth. That's, that's what I want to hear. I want them to reach out and go, hey, will you see? Look at what they're doing in these towns. That's what, or Norway, Spain, it doesn't matter. We've got the program. Yep, they will. They will. And then we've got another document as well. So, Bob, let's go over that second document. Yeah, I'll give you a little background on this. Um, Gary and I were meeting with an individual. Um, gosh, it was this Monday, wasn't it, Gary? Um, yeah, and and uh, we had shared all types of We spent hours with him sharing all information about it. And... Um, you know, of course, we all, you always get the polite nod and yeah, yeah, you know, that it sounds good. But this last Monday, we were meeting with this individual and he started asking some questions about the Nexus reward transactions. 
and uh, said, could you help me under understand a little bit? Could you like draw me a picture or something? So I, I just drew out a picture about the transaction. When I drew that picture out, his eyes lit up, like the light bulb went off, and he goes, wow, now I get it. Now I know how the transaction works. Now I know how the transaction drives the buyer demand for the Nexus token on the public exchange. But it wasn't until we drew a picture on that. As we talked further with them, there were several concepts that uh, needed a, a graphical uh, presentation on that. So I put together this this document we're looking at now. Uh, I call it Nexus Business Concepts, and it's six pages long. There's six principles here, but the very first one was just cryptocurrency opportunities. This first page uh, talks about cryptocurrency is unstoppable. No government or bank can shut down cryptocurrency. And then I have six little boxes under that. I talk about many different ways that people are that are you know um, hearing about how to make money you know with cryptocurrency of course everyone's talking about Bitcoin mining but they don't realize that Bitcoin mining is very very competitive and that most people lose money in Bitcoin mining uh, another one are the initial coin offerings um, you know many people are dumping millions hundreds of millions of dollars in these ICOs what they don't realize is that most people lose money in the ICOs. One of the reasons is there's no regulations on the ICOs. There's nothing to help you, to help protect you as a consumer, to ensure that you're being told the right stuff, you're told the accurate stuff, that the that there's a a uh, you know experienced uh, management team behind it. None of that stuff exists in the ICOs. It's the type of stuff you find in a IPO, uh, uh, initial public offering because those have to be carefully vetted um, uh, by the SEC. Um, again, I'm, I'm not big on regulation, but there is some consumer protection, making sure that the truth is getting out to people. Uh, but people hear about ICOs, and they think they're going to get rich off of ICOs. And you often will see spikes, but then they, they don't maintain. Uh, you also see hear a lot about the speculative trading. Oh, look at the price of Bitcoin is going up. You need to jump on that. Well, that's great right now. It's on a rise, but uh, the pricing of cryptocurrency historically has been very volatile, uh, which means there's, the price is a lot of, lot of ups and downs on the price. Uh, so most people lose money actually trying to do speculative trading. It's like, I tell people, it's like doing day trading. First of all, you, you, know, you, you dedicate your whole life to watching the computer monitor. Uh, so you're, you're losing your life and your time to try to stay you know, a second ahead of everyone else, you know, trying to take some action on speculative trading. The day trading works that way. And then the other one, I listed on here was I just call them crypto scams um, and they're basically just pump and dump schemes they have no real value creation people just hype up some coin and the, the coin of the day they'll hype it up people will believe the hype they'll go out and start buying the coin so the price goes up as soon as the price gets to an attractive level then the insiders of that coin then they all start selling their coin we call them dumping their coin most people lose money in all these crypto scams. So those four boxes that you see on the screen that are all in red, most people lose their money. Those are very high-risk ways of trying to make money in cryptocurrency. But there are some legitimate ways of making money in cryptocurrency, and so what Nexus does. The first one is to follow the good coins, the coins that have utility, the coins that have good buyer demand to create real long-term value. Uh, Bitcoin, Ethercoin, you know, their prices are very, very attractive because they are good coins. Uh, they have utility. Uh, Bitcoin has, you know, over, over 100,000. I've been saying 100,000 for probably three years now, so it's probably a lot higher now. Uh, but they have over 100,000 uh, merchants that accept Bitcoin. You know, so there is some utility for the Bitcoin. Um, the other opportunity, and I think it's the biggest one, and it's where all the smart money is being invested by the venture capitalists, and that is in the support services. If in somehow you can get it, if you want to make money in cryptocurrency, get involved in the support services for the whole industry, and that's what Nexus does. We do not we do not go out there uh, hawking any particular coin, saying you need to buy this coin because uh, you know the price is going to be going up. You're going to get rich off that coin. We are positioned to make money and support the industry with every transaction that happens out there. And we're talking about Nexus Rewards transactions. Every time someone buys some Nexus Merchant, it creates, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, uh, it, it's, it's a service that we provide. So make money um, supporting the whole industry, providing service to support the industry are good ways of making money. And those service companies always make money. So that was the first concept, just, just a general 
uh, thought that we're so deep into this, this is kind of second nature to us. We realize we talk to people, they don't realize all this stuff. So once you put it in a picture uh, here, it helps people understand a little bit better the truth behind the cryptocurrency opportunities. Okay, Kelly, the second, <coughs> the second concept was just about education. Um, uh, this particular individual, Gary, and I met with was asking about, well, what, what's the university all about? Like, is it, uh, they have like, uh, can you get a degree in cryptocurrency, you know, um, uh, you know, or can you get credits on there? And I told him, no, that's not really the purpose. Uh, cryptocurrency is too, too new, too young. Eventually, there will probably be college degrees in cryptocurrency. That won't surprise me. Um, uh, you can go to college right now for network marketing out of Chicago. Uh, that didn't, that didn't always exist exist before, uh, but right now crypto, the education of cryptocurrency has several key benefits. Number one is just your own self-education, your opportunity to invest in yourself so you can have a competitive advantage and know about this amazing new phenomenon that's coming called cryptocurrency. Uh, an opportunity to, through the education to maximize your benefits, master the technology to maximize your productivity with cryptocurrency. And I think back when the personal computer first came out. Um, the people who really benefited the most are those that dove in and got the training and learned about how to use their computer. They took, there was a whole sub-industry that rose up with the personal computer all about training and education about not only the computer, the hardware computer itself, but also about all the software programs that were available. Huge industry. It still is. Um, but those people that jumped in and learned about the personal computer are the ones that benefited the most. Same thing's true about cryptocurrency. Those who jump in now, learn about cryptocurrency, are the ones that are going to be able to, to benefit the most and really maximize their productivity. Um, the last key point here under this concept of cryptocurrency education is I call it opportunity awareness. Um, and and the, the, the other benefit that goes along with that is I call it scam prevention. You know, if, if you're educated, you're less likely to be taken advantage of through all the scams out there. There are, there are more scams now only because cryptocurrency is um, a new emerging technology that most people don't understand. So it's easy for the scammers to take advantage of those people. Education solves that problem. So you can, you can uh, make yourself scam proof, you know, by getting educated on cryptocurrency. Um, and with that education, you'll be able to make, you'll be able to um, recognize and make smart investments in this space of cryptocurrency. So that's the concept uh, we just wanted to um, highlight here on cryptocurrency education. The next page is the page I drew out for our friend to help understand the, um, the transaction flow. This one I just called the rewards transaction flow. So I showed a $100 bill being the purchase. There was a 10% reward being offered by the merchant, which generated a $10 cashback reward. But that $10 cashback reward was used to create buyer demand by the system. That $10 was taken by the system to go out to the public exchange and buy Nexus tokens which then were viewed uh, by the consumer who received Nexus reward points. So every purchase created demand for the Nexus token. Now that in this particular example, $10 of Nexus tokens was purchased on the public exchange that were backing those reward points that were given to the shopper on this $100 purchase. The key point here is that every transaction drives buyer demand for the Nexus tokens to fulfill the reward points. Uh, a couple other kind of side points on this particular concept is that reward points dynamically increase in value as the Nexus tokens increase in price. It's a key point we talked about, so I want to make sure that I put it here in this graphic. You can see the, the token increasing in size, implying increasing in value, because as the price of the Nexus token goes up, so does the value of the points that you have. You could be a consumer sitting there looking at your Nexus uh, Rewards app on your phone and seeing that you had um, 100 points that one day was worth $10. And then, you know, the next, you know, a couple of weeks later, they said, well, wait a minute, those same points, those same 100 points now are worth $15 or $20. How'd that happen? 
it happened because the price of the Nexus token that's backing the points increased in value, increased in price. So now those points are worth more. It's kind of interesting. It's You think about it, it's like the Nexus Rewards almost becomes an investment. I'm going to go out and collect reward points and let them ride because I can see they're increasing in price. At some other point, I'll go ahead and cash them out by using them with merchants. But this is a very important point of our program, is that you get a loyalty program with points that can be increasing in value dynamically. The other point, uh, you see a $5 bill in this, in this uh, picture. Uh, that represents the merchant marketing fees. Those marketing fees pay for the shopper referrals. That's the viral, um, uh, viral referral program uh, for getting shoppers. And it also pays our, our affiliates sales commissions uh, on these transactions. So that is the, uh, that's the concept of a, a, a rewards transaction flow, where all the money goes. Okay, uh, let me catch my breath here. I don't want to just be lecturing over all six pages. Is, are there any points or comments, uh, questions or comments you want to make, Kelly's, on, uh, on the first three that we talked about? The cryptocurrency opportunities, the, um, what was the second one on? Second one was, oh, university, and then on the uh, Nexus Rewards transaction flow. We're really focused on Nexus Rewards now, so that third slide really is the one that's probably the most important one. Well, it just goes to show with um, information and documents like this that you don't have to wait to learn it all if you don't actually grasp everything right now. To print these off and start sharing it for, with people, there, you know, you, no one needs to wait to have to, you know, get, but these concept, this document right here will help the affiliates that are still struggling to kind of get it themselves um, to see, to have it right here where they can s explain it very easily and let this document explain it for them. So, um, yeah. Uh, very good. We do have some questions, so while you're catching your breath, I'll just okay. uh, go through a couple of those. Um, since we're talking about the value of the coin, Joey asked, um, he's been encouraging friends to buy the Nexus coin from the public exchange. Does this help drive the price up? Absolutely. <laughs> yep. buyer, demand, buyer demand of any publicly traded asset increases the price of that asset. So these are true principles on any asset that's being traded, whether that asset is stocks and bonds, precious metals, commodities, um, uh, real estate. The principle of buyer demand applies um, in any, any asset that's being traded publicly. If there are more buyers wanting something, then the price goes up. If there are more sellers wanting to sell something, the price goes down. So true principle in trading any publicly traded asset. So the more people that, the more buyers we have that are wanting to buy the Nexus token, that creates buyer demand. Now for Joey, the token, um, there's no one, well soon I should say, take the positive angle on this, soon you're going to see people that are going to have the new Nexus token and they're going to have those out possibly for sale. You're going to see that new Nexus token, you know, coming out at at least 10 cents. And we're going to be holding that 10 cents as best we can, uh, working with the people who hold those coins, um, getting those coins first out to the people who know that understand Nexus Rewards, they understand this automated buyer demand, and they know that there's a they're leave, they'd be leaving a lot of money on the table if they went out starting to sell Nexus tokens, you know, for for pennies, you know, uh, for a penny or two pennies, they'd be hurting themselves doing that, and letting educating everyone, encouraging them. Don't let you know, don't go out selling Nexus tokens for under a dime. There's no reason for that. Let's get it up and start selling it for a dime, for a quarter, for a dollar. That's where Nexus token needs to be. You need to look long term because it does have real utility, as you can see in this picture we have on the screen. It has real utility. It is the internal currency of Nexus Rewards. It has automated buyer demand from every shopper transaction in Nexus Rewards. This is something that that no other coin, thousands of a cryptocurrency coins, no other coin can show a picture like this of how they have real utility. The closest coin to it is EtherCoin. If you want to track how Nexus Token is going to do, I would look at EtherCoin. EtherCoin went over $500 this week, and we have a better model, I think, than EtherCoin. Just to give you an idea of the potential, um, it, it's huge. So one picture here to help you understand, this one page here really answers a question. How does Nexus Rewards work? There's a lot more detail behind that question, but this is the essence of it right here, is it gives these reward points 
um, you know, from the purchase of Nexus tokens that are purchased with the cashback rewards generated from the rewards given by merchants on every shopper transaction. That's the essence of Nexus rewards. Yeah, we definitely don't want to have the pizza mentality here. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Talking about the, the, the guy that's, what, uh, bought a pizza for 10,000 Bitcoins. Don't you know every day, Bob? He really just, <laughs> <laughs> he probably does hit himself every morning. So anyway, absolutely. All right. What's that next page coming up? Let's see what our next concept is. This is the Nexus Business Concepts. Okay, the idea, and people ask me, well, how do you know merchants are going to, uh, you know, you're going to uh, do this. You know, you know, why would a merchant want to do this? So we created this one page. I just called it Merchant Acquisition. And there are like six boxes on here we talk about. Number one point for the merchant is uh, that it's completely risk-free. This is free for merchants to join. So there's no upfront costs. And they don't pay until after they make the sale. So completely risk-free. Uh, we show them how to acquire new customers through several vehicles. Number one, they can send out SMS text promotions and attract people that may not even know they exist, that happen to be registered shoppers on Nexus, maybe registered through some other source, not through them. Uh, so they can attract those customers to their business. Um, uh, also uh, attract new customers by being part of the Nexus shopper network and attract new customers by being uh, a merchant that accepts cryptocurrency. So as cryptocurrency is becoming more and more popular and you're getting all these people buying Bitcoins, well, they're going to be looking for merchants that will accept cryptocurrency. They'll automatically be able to do that as a Nexus merchant. Uh, we not only help, help them with customer acquisition, acquiring new customers, we also help them with customer retention. That's keeping those customers because those customers are keep coming back to the merchants to collect new reward points and to redeem reward points. So there's a natural incentive to the Nexus Rewards program for those customers to keep coming back to the merchants. Uh, some other uh, uh, benefits, advantages, why a merchant would want to be part of Nexus Rewards <clears throat> is they get to name their own price. They get to tell us what they want to pay us for our Nexus Rewards marketing system. They can select a cashback reward of 1 to 20 or more percent cashback reward. Uh, and related to that, the marketing fee is also selected by them of 1% to 5%. So they name their own price on this. Uh, I mentioned a minute ago that they have now the ability to accept cryptocurrency payments. They can accept Bitcoin payments and in, uh, more than what they can do through Coinbase and BitPay, they'll also be able to accept other payments, cryptocurrency payments from other top cryptocurrency coins. That's something that we'll be rolling out. We'll be always adding to that, uh, changing it as new coins are becoming more popular. Someone asked me this week to check out a new coin, and, and they said uh, it was called IOTA. It was called the IOTA coin, and they had a really unique, a really neat concept. And, and uh, one of our affiliates out of Utah was asking me, well, how does, how does Nexus compete against IOTA? So I researched it for him, and I just kind of chuckled to myself, and I said, just like Bitcoin, we don't compete with IOTA. We would support IOTA. IOTA now, I think, is the number eight coin on uh, coin market cap. But they have an interesting concept that has no transaction fees, zero transaction fees. They, um, the miners, they basically uh, they validate the transactions but the reason they do it isn't to get uh, transaction fees, it's to have the ability to process their own transactions. So the participants are also the validators of the transaction. A unique concept, looked very interesting, it's got a lot of attention. But as I looked at it, that may be a new arising coin and, and maybe someday on Nexus Rewards you'd be able to go into a merchant and pay with IOTA, IOTA coins because we support the whole industry. We're not competing with any other coins. We are a marketing service. We really, when you think about it, there are many categories of services in cryptocurrency right now. Well, not a lot, but there's a few. When you talk about public exchanges, uh, our exchange like EtherDelta or you go to uh, Bittrex, those are all cryptocurrency exchanges. Uh, so that's a category of services. There are also uh, cryptocurrency brokers. Uh, Coinbase is not a public exchange. Coinbase is a broker. 
just a little distinction there, but that's a kind of a new category, a different category also of different types of services. So you have cryptocurrency brokers, cryptocurrency exchanges, cryptocurrency wallets, cryptocurrency uh, payment processors like uh, BitPay and Coinbase I already mentioned. You have uh, cryptocurrency news sites like Bitcoin.com, uh, like Cointelegraph, uh, that's a whole category. Well, we're creating a new category that does not exist today. Nexus Rewards is the first marketing service in cryptocurrency that's going out and providing marketing services for cryptocurrency. Um, so that's what we're doing uh, with the cryptocurrency space. So last box on this page here, I apologize for wondering, uh, why merchants want to join Nexus Rewards is we do something that they have uh, that they never been able to do before and that is to make money off their customers when they leave their store we help them create an additional revenue stream by referring shoppers and earning on all their purchases no matter where those purchases are they make they can when they refer shoppers directly and indirectly that make this money not only pe shoppers they personally refer but when those shoppers refer for shoppers those merchants make money on them as well and um, they'll earn on all their purchases from any merchant in the network. So five, uh, five strong reasons to support the concept of merchant acquisition. Why would merchants want to be part of Nexus Rewards? Anything you want to add to that, Kelly? I think I might have had a light bulb moment here, Bob. Um, I've been thinking that the SMS system uh, when a merchant puts it in, the zip codes in, that it would only go out to their shopper base. Now, from what you just explained, it's that zip code it will go out to any shopper in that zip code, even if it's not under that merchant? That is true. That, that is, true. That is, is the, huge. Yeah, that's a huge reach. When you think about it, we go on a particular community, we open up Nexus Rewards. Well, let's use Green Bay, Dan's uh, backyard there. Um, we go sign up. At Green Bay's got um, you know about a quarter million in the in the kind of the metro Green Bay area. You know what happens when there's like 10% of the population is a registered Nexus shopper, and you got 25,000 registered shoppers. All of a sudden, some merchant goes out and says, "I want to do a lunch special today," you know, and say, "Come on by and get a free dessert." They could put out a promotion and push that out to up to 10 zip codes, which would cover the whole Green Bay area. <laughs> so they would get a promotion out to 25,000 people that may not even know that merchant exists and put that promotion out there. Uh, now, as a side note, um, shop we do empower shoppers to block merchants in case it's a merchant that, they not, that they're not interested in. They have to opt out. This is more of a kind of little training here. But the shoppers, everyone is automatically opted in. Every shopper's automatically opted in on these SMS promotions. But when they get the promotion, there's a link in the promotion that they can click on to opt out of this merchant. We call it blocking a merchant. In the shopper's back office, they'll have an option to view all the merchants they blocked and to unblock a merchant. And the example I use is, you know, maybe I get a promotion from a pet store. And I don't have any pets. So I can say, no, thank you, and just kind of block it and say, I don't need to see, you know, promotions from that. So it's a way for merchants, and Kelly, you're correct. Merchants can send out a promotion to all of the Nexus registered shoppers in up to 10 zip codes. Uh, they can do this. So very, very powerful. And it's free. Did I mention that? It is free. We do not charge the merchants anything for this SMS text promotion. So are merchants going to want to use Nexus Rewards? Absolutely. That that really is huge. So I didn't I didn't have that that coming out because when we talk about loyalty customers and we talk about bringing them customers, this is, you know, incredible. And it also brings the the Nexus community merchants together. They're helping each other out. And that's another part of this movement that's so beautiful that it's hard to even explain really is we're showing we're showing these uh, small businesses um, and, and we're helping them, as we said before, and I know we're going a little long on the call, but Groupon has proven that small businesses are hungry for business, and Groupon's also proven that they don't create loyal customers. So uh, we're bringing something beautiful, and it's also where the merchants can help each other. It's incredible. Yeah, part of our, part of our movement is to help save you know, local hometown communities. 
uh, we're reaching out to the small merchants, giving them a tool that they can band together to compete against the internet and the big box mega stores. It's fantastic. All right, let's move on. Okay, let's quickly get through our uh, last two business concepts. We just talked about merchant acquisition. Uh, we wanted to make sure that people understood our shopper acquisition strategy. And it is a viral marketing strategy. Viral marketing basically just says that you've got some information that's so interesting that you want to share it with all your friends like a virus. Um, but we have three aspects to our viral shopping uh, acquisition. Um, we have a picture here just of a network of people. Um, organizations can refer um, uh, their their membership, and then and their membership can refer their friends, who refer their friends, who refer their friends, and you end up with a huge network of shoppers. Well, organizations and merchants both earn a 10% 10 of all the marketing fees on every transaction from the entire shopper network. That is huge, as Gary likes to say, as Gary and the Donald like to say. Uh, that is huge when you think about that, because that could be a network. Because it has a viral nature, it will grow organically. And all of a sudden, that shopper network can be thousands and tens of thousands and tens of thousands of shoppers. And that merchant at the top of that shopper network or that organization, the local church at the top of that shopper network, could be making money on every transaction on every shopper in that entire shopper network. So that is a, another huge incentive. On the previous slide, we talked about you know merchants can create additional revenue stream. This is the additional revenue stream we were talking about. It's the money they can make by referring shoppers. It's our viral shopper acquisition strategy. Uh, if Kelly scrolls down a little bit, there's one more box on this page that talks about the viral aspect for shoppers referring other shoppers. They also receive 10% of all the marketing fees uh, generated by all the shoppers that they personally refer. Shoppers only get one level of referrals. We call it their personal referrals. It still is free shopping for telling their friends and family. Uh, and that helps, that creates the viral uh, organic growth of the network. So this is our strategy. Hopefully this helps people understand the concept of the viral shopper acquisition for Nexus Rewards. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun uh, watching this grow and just take take that either 100, mon 100 monkey effect or take that snowball effect, however you see things when they hit that that point of, um, of no return. Um, this is going to be beautiful watching it. it just uh, And it get back to, it's a girl's dream. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah, this is, um, this is going to be exponential growth, not linear growth. Uh, as as this word gets out there, you start building the critical mass, and now you can see why it is so important to build to focus on a local community, build critical mass in that community. Um, I think 10% of a local community on Nexus is an understatement. I think uh, I don't see any reason why the majority of merchants in a community wouldn't want to be part of Nexus Rewards. I can't see a reason why the majority of nonprofit organizations wouldn't want to have a perpetual cash fundraiser with Nexus Rewards. I can't see a reason why the majority of shoppers in a community wouldn't want to be earning free cashback reward points and go free shopping. So this will grow exponentially with Nexus Rewards. And you being the affiliates, um, what, what we didn't show in this slide here, because it's, not, it, it's related but not the main point on this slide, is there is some affiliate that set up that local church. There's some affiliate that set up that merchant. Um, and the affiliate that did that is earning also off the entire shopper network, but not 10% of the marketing fees. They're earning 20% of the marketing fees off the entire shopper network. And I'm going to say networks plural because they'll have a shopper network under each merchant that they set up and under each nonprofit organization they set up. So this is a huge opportunity for our affiliates. It sure is. Actually, Bob, the word is not huge. It's huge. It's huge. <laughs> Thank you, Gary. And the Donald. <laughs> All right. Hey. And, and our last slide.
This last one was a concept of, yeah, really, how do you, how do you really take cryptocurrency from the internet, you know, and uh, take it to hometown communities, local hometown communities. So I put this slide together to help, um, help them just understand that a little better. There's a picture, and you've seen this picture before, of our, our local hometown community. Uh, and the key point I want to make is this will only work when you focus on building local critical mass. Our whole rollout strategy is to build local critical mass, which basically just means a significant number of shoppers for the merchants and a significant number of merchants for the shoppers. That's all critical mass means. And we do it um, through the Nexus Rewards program we've been talking about, giving merchants the benefit of, of getting and keeping new customers with a risk-free solution and giving shoppers the benefit of uh, earning uh, shared reward points where they can collect redeem points across multiple shoppers. So the Nexus Reward Program is the first way we take it uh, to the local community is through creating the local critical mass with our, our qualified affiliates who have been trained and certified. <clears throat> uh, eventually in that community, you're also going to see popping up in that community Nexus Crypto Cafes. Those are brick and mortar stores they're like a Starbucks with a purpose. They're a community center for everything crypto. That's what those will be. So those will roll out. That's more of a longer term strategy. You know, you're not going to see that when you first open up a market. We're, uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin is going to launch with Nexus Rewards, and it's going to be established with Nexus Rewards. And then eventually there's going to be uh, at least one Nexus Crypto Cafe pop up in Green Bay, Wisconsin, and it will be the Green Bay Community Center for Everything Crypto. So, but that follows the Nexus Rewards program. And in that cafe, you're gonna find Nexus cryptocurrency ATM machines. There will be two-way cryptocurrency exchanges. You can put cash in and you can get cash out for your cryptocurrency. And you'll be able to process Bitcoin and all the top cryptocurrencies. So this is um, how we take cryptocurrency from the internet to local hometown communities. Uh, it is the, the whole concept that we're doing. It's something that's really beyond the industry. Most of the cryptocurrency industry isn't thinking in these terms here. Uh, they don't have what Nexus has. That's why I say Nexus Rewards is going to be one of the top premier service companies in the industry. As we launch and gain, and gain visibility, Nexus, everyone will know Nexus Rewards like everyone knows Bitcoin.com, like everyone knows Coinbase. Nexus Rewards. Everyone's going to know about Nexus Rewards. It's going to be, it's going to be the talk of the town. It's going to be, you know, uh, articles written on Nexus Rewards. It's going to be on the the top news on your TV. You're going to you're going to open up the the you're going to turn your TV to the morning news, and they're going to be talking about Nexus Rewards. That's how big Nexus Rewards is going to be. We're not talking about something little. We're talking about going straight to the top. It'll take some while. It's taken us a while to build a strong foundation. We've been working on Nexus Rewards for two years now to build a strong foundation so that we can have a sustainable business model that will be here for decades, not just months like most of these um, other projects out there. We have, we have a real sustainable business model, um, and this is where we're heading with it. Kelly, I've said enough here. Our time is, is going on, so let me return the time back over to you, and you can wrap up. These are two great documents that you should be using in building your businesses, both the, uh, I call it the important keys, Nexus Partners important keys, the first document, one page your reference sheet, and then this, your Nexus Rewards um, uh, business concepts, six, six different concepts that uh, will help you in explaining your business. Absolutely. We'll get out there and share those, and actually, Nexus is big right now but um just to to note guys kelly and kelly show will be sunday uh, december 3rd at 11 a.m we're changing to the lunar calendar so hope to see everybody at 11 a.m and i'll just mention a few people's names here that have made some comments held norman from norway uh bob cato uh joey uh from florida i believe he's down there and larry branson over in uh, colorado stan thompson kelly i believe he wants you to get in touch with him he says kelly i don't know which kelly um ellen bennett really appreciate dan taking her back to the seven 70s with the energy and spirits and um, also we have a comment from Terry Howell down here good program today uh, food for thought vision without execution is hallucination both are important so there you go great group of people here um, core team just fantastic like-minded people not only is Nexus 
are going to be in every you know home. It's also um, just bringing in the best people with um, forward thinking. And um, I will say, Bob, that I talked to. I had a webinar meeting with a guy from Atlanta this week, and when I sh when we went through the biography, your biography, he said you guys are bringing a traditional business model in with this technology and in our industry. I said. You hit it right on the head. He said, that's brilliant. So that's why, you know, we are the first leading the way out there in this blockchain technology um, with the marketing that is going to be capitalizing on the Main Street adoption of cryptocurrency. So just everybody know, as we always say, you're at the perfect place um, at the perfect time, and this is really the big biggie. So um, appreciate everybody being here today. Um, we'll see you back next Friday. If you need to connect with us on Telegram, and Discord. If you need all those links, we'll get them out to you um, through email, through our Facebook, through LinkedIn. You're going to start seeing a lot more of Nexus partners on social media. So we're getting that going as well. So um, guys, get out there and share this far and wide with everybody you know and love um, because it is for, it's uh, just a beautiful thing. So appreciate you being here. Love to you all and aloha guys. Thank you.